everyone, Martina Nelson here from Pioneer, Livestock Specialist in Ontario. Today I'm in a field of alfalfa that was cut two days ago and now getting baled up for baleage. I want to touch on a couple quick tips on what we should uh, be doing after we take off our alfalfa. The most important tip is that we should be off the field five days after we've cut it. So if we're putting on manure or fertilizer, we have to do that within the five day window. So getting out as soon as possible is key. We don't wanna be on the field, on the alfalfa, once we have regrowth, because the, the traffic can damage the crowns and uh, reduce our yields for our next cut. It's important that we top up our alfalfa stands with some fertilizer or manure, whether this is in the spring or after a cut. Here's the chart showing the removal rate that of nutrients that alfalfa has for nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and sulfur. For those applying manure, the ideal application rates of liquid dairy manure are about 3,000 to 4,000 gallons per acre. That's gonna provide in the range of the 50, 45, 90 pounds per acre of available nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. We are seeing more and more sulfur deficiency in alfalfa. Alfalfa removes five pounds per ton of dry matter that's taken off the field. Sulfur deficiency, what we'll see is we'll see poor top growth, spindly plants. We'll see uniformly yellowing of upper leaves. It can be patchy. Here's a picture showing when there was zero sulfur applied versus when there was sulfur applied. So you can see there's a nice difference between the two. Sulfur is found in dairy manure. In dry manure, we'll see about one pound per ton and in liquid manure on average we see about three pounds in a thousand gallons of liquid. The thing with manure is we really should be taking a test so we get an accurate measurement of how much N, P, K and S is getting put down. In certain cases we aren't actually getting enough from our manure to feed what the alfalfa is removing each year. Hopefully following these tips will help us get great yielding uh, future cuts and, and life stand of our alfalfa increases. Thanks everyone, stay safe.